So without a starter, I'm first going to hand over to Sarah Hayes, who's the Credo Programme Lead, and will be introducing the project to us. Over to you, Sarah. Thank you, Simon. And thank you, everyone who has joined this webinar and watched the film with us. We're really delighted to share this film with you today as COP26 gets underway, and we hope that you'll share it with your friends and colleagues to inspire them to act now. If you didn't get to see it all at the beginning, then you can watch it on the DT Hub from midday. I, I believe that everyone at this webinar wants to do everything we can to help people like Clara and Grandad. And that's why we've come together today to collaborate and hopefully to find out more about Credo, our Climate Resilience Demonstrator Project. Credo is the demonstrator project for the National Digital Twin Programme to show how it's possible to use the information management framework approach to pull data sets together across sectors into a digital twin that can help to improve the level of resilience that we have to extreme weather caused by climate change. It's a climate change adaptation digital twin. In Credo, we're connecting data sets across Anglian Water, BT and UK power networks to better understand the interdependencies across the whole infrastructure system. We're looking at the impact of possible future flooding on these infrastructure interdependencies to help us understand how to protect the system and to adapt to climate change. Tom is going to talk more about the technical detail of Credo, but hopefully it's enough for me to say now that Credo is intended to help make decisions that will improve resilience across the system, not just across individual networks, to keep people like Grandad safe. This is about ensuring that we make the right decisions to protect parts of these networks that will maximize resilience across the whole infrastructure system. So I'm gonna show you this app that we've developed to show what a digital twin like Credo can do. Before I get into the app, I will say that I've learned by working with the excellent team at Esri that it's a lot of work to create fictional maps and to make fictional digital twins. As of course in Credo, we're working with confidential data which is stored securely on the Daphne platform. So in the app, we've had to create the data for a fictional version. And it reminds me that this all comes back to data and to making sure in the real versions that we can share data for the public good. So I'd like to introduce this fictional Sunford city to you. Kirsten, if you could play the video, please. After a series of recent storms, Sunford Park is recovering from localised utility outages. Repairs were ongoing but have now been postponed as Storm Ruby approaches. As the storm hits the city, heavy rainfall causes the river to flood in parts of Sunford Park. Local telecoms are damaged, making reporting and response difficult. Large areas of the city are without power, as distribution and primary substations are damaged. The power outage also brings down a wastewater pumping station, causing sewage to flood into the homes of Sunford residents. As the evening approaches, flood levels begin to recede and recovery efforts can increase. Several utilities are able to recover using temporary measures. Recovery efforts continue into the morning of the second day. However, by midday, a storm surge combines with high river flows and floods to a new area of the city. This flood brings down a primary substation, causing a general power outage, severe telecoms disruption and a disrupted freshwater supply. By the end of day two, Sunford Park Hospital is suffering from communication and water outages and vulnerable households have been left without services. The storm that hit Sunford City was unprecedented, but a changing climate makes such events more likely. Understanding the interconnected infrastructure system networks that serve our towns and cities can help us prepare for extreme weather and flooding and adapt to climate change. Through Credo, the National Digital Twin Programme is creating a demonstration of how this is possible. So you can see that this Storm Ruby has caused a lot of damage. The whole power network is down, comms is down, and Sunford City is without clean water. And the hospital is suffering from communications and water outages. Your role 
is to act now to protect Sunford City against this kind of storm happening in the future and to make decisions to protect certain assets to keep the lights on, communications going and water running. So you can see in the next slide that you can click on assets to reveal what they are. So you can see here that this is a clean water booster pumping station. What I like about this app is that you can have a go yourself, you can show it to your CEO or you could leave it with your kids to play around with. We've developed this app with Esri and with expert input from Mott McDonald and the asset owners over a period of just eight weeks. We only just started this at the beginning of September. And I can see how this could even be turned into a high resolution computer game, which could appeal to teenagers who want to move from Lego into the digital world and test out solutions to climate change. So in the app, which has a mobile, a tablet and a desktop version, here you're invited to play the part of the water company but you only have the information available to you about your own network and you don't have access to any data about what's going on with the power or the comms networks. So you are limited in the effectiveness of your possible interventions because you can't see the interdependencies with power and communications. So your level of resilience remains low. But if you join up all the data across the networks, like in the Credo connected digital twin that we're creating, you can see the connections across all the networks. So now with all this information in front of you, you have a different set of options. You can play the role of resilience planner across the infrastructure system to see what are the options that will maximize resilience and at least cost. You can see here that the primary substation in Sidley is really critical as it supplies up to 17 other assets with power. So you could investigate what the effect would be if you moved that substation. If you choose this option, you can see the effects across the network in your dashboard in the bottom right corner there, and that there would be no disruption at the hospital but there are still some vulnerable people who would be affected by the loss of power in the Sunford Park area in the bottom right of the map. So I will leave the rest to you for you to investigate the choices that you would make to plan ahead and protect Sunford City against the kind of storms that we're going to see due to climate change. And at the end, you get a nice summary showing the trade-offs between the options looking at resilience and cost as of course your consumers may not be willing to pay for the maximum level of resilience and you will need to work out across the system what your consumers are willing to pay for. The app is available online through the DT Hub from midday today, so I hope you'll enjoy having a go and we're always open to suggestions about how to improve it. And of course, Credo is a major collaboration across government, industry and academia, much like the National Digital Twin Programme. I want to say a big thank you to the asset owners who are involved, Anglian Water, BT and UK Power Networks, because without the asset owners, we wouldn't have any data. And without data, there is no credo. Our key message through the film and the app is that collaboration through connected digital twins is key to tackling climate change. And this collaboration is evident in the team working together on Credo. Without the asset owners, as I said, there is no data. And without the data, there is no Credo. The asset owners themselves are the reason for Credo and the means to adapting to climate change. And it is their people and expertise that form a crucial part of Credo. Without our funders, Bayes, UKRI, and, you can, and Connected Places Catapult, there wouldn't be any research to talk about today. Without Hartree and the research institutions, CMCL Innovations, the Information Management Framework Team, and the Joint Centre of Excellence in Environmental Intelligence, there won't be a Credo Digital Twin, so it is their clever work behind the scenes that will make Credo happen. Without Mott McDonald and Esri, we wouldn't have this app. And of course, without the team at Crocodile Media, we wouldn't have this film, which I hope resonates long after today. We are all one team working to a common goal, and that is to build connected digital twins to help us adapt to climate change. 
And if we can adapt through connected digital twins, then we can also mitigate. All of us here care about granddad and his grandson, Jack, and we all want to make it, we all want to work together to make a difference to people's lives now and in the future. So we think it's important to get some messages out this week and next at COP26 that there are technologies like connected digital twins that we can use now to help us tackle climate change. Rachel, our project manager for the Credo project, will be at the UKRI stand in the green zone at COP26 in Glasgow next week on Thursday the 11th of November. So if you're there, please go along and say hello to Rachel. We also have Chris and Gavin from the technical team joining the webinar live from Glasgow today. So hopefully we will hear more from them later on. Thank you.